it's real bad out here, you all. Okay. There's no other way to put this. It's real bad out here. Due to men raising the bar, raising their standards, and not settling for anything less than what they deserve, yeah, it's leaving a lot of women extremely bitter, and it's causing them to resort to having this coping mechanism of pretending like they don't want the men anyway, right? Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's peep the game, all right? Due to men having a lot going on for themselves, having a lot to offer, knowing their value and their worth, they are not settling for females that are not going to add on to their lives in a positive way. And since a lot of these chicks out here do not measure up, by default, that leaves them alone. And so what we are starting to see more and more in abundance today is a bunch of bitter, broken, lonely females pretending, emphasis on pretending, like they don't want a man, they don't need a man, they are the prize and they're better off alone. But again, that's just a coping mechanism to make themselves feel better about not qualifying. Because let's be clear, you all, I don't care how strong and independent she thinks that she is, that she says that she is, every woman wants a man to love her, to be able to thoroughly guide her, lead her, provide for her, protect her, every woman. And so when you see this increase of a bunch of females coming through like this, talking about, you know, we are the queens and, you know, we don't need to focus on having men and families and all of that. Yeah. They're just trying to, I don't know, uh, escape their very lonely reality of not being chose. Whoopsie. And quite honestly, I'm proud about it because what it is doing is making a lot of women have to step their games up. Since men are not settling for anything less than what they qualify for and what they deserve as being productive men in society that are more than capable and able of providing and protecting, leading, teaching, loving, and all of that, yeah, um, they want women that are going to be complementary to that. And so, yeah, I'm not going to choose up on a chick like you, ma'am, when I offer you way more in return than you can ever offer to me or do for me. I don't like how you look. I don't like how you think. I don't like how you are. And so, yeah, I, I'll pass you up. And we're seeing a lot of men do that because again, they understand their value. I can bring a woman this. And so since I can bring a woman this, if she can't bring me that, to compliment what I am bringing to her? Yeah, no, you can stay right over there. You and your red wig, mm-hmm. Stay right over there, ma'am. No, thank you. And a lot of women today are not used to men saying no, thank you. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Some real talk, let's keep the game, baby. Women are not used to men having these standards in the past men would have no problem at the very least knocking a chick like this down like yeah she's not looking that good and she seemed a little bit delayed but i mean hey yeah but now men are like no hell no step your game up and then maybe i'll look at you 
And it's so bad that again, and I keep telling y'all this, men don't even care about how fine you are, how nice your body is. Like if you're not able to bring me peace, love, support, quality, make my life easier, more enjoyable, you can have it. Not settling down with you, not choosing up on you. You can stay right over there and we cannot handle it. And since we cannot handle it, now we're having to resort to having this type of dialogue that I'm getting ready to share with you all. Since men are not paying these women any mind or any attention, women are like, okay, how can I make myself feel better about not being it? What do I mean by it? Well, I am not that woman that a man would see value in. Men are not choosing up on me to marry, to make a girlfriend even, to make a mother, to date. Men are not looking at me at all. And it's not just me. A lot of my sisters are missing out. And so since we are all missing out and it's causing us all to be bitter and angry and alone, how about we rally together as a unit, as a sisterhood, and pretend like we're good, pretend like we don't want these men anyway. They're actually beneath us, and we already know that's the other way around, ma'am. The men are above you, and y'all can't handle that. Let's be real. Now, again, shout out to the real quality women out there that this does not apply to, but we got to be realistic out here. A lot of these chicks are hitting on what we see on my screen. And they think that they are the top notch baddest chicks and they're being brutally humbled. And since they are being brutally humbled by being rejected, they're like, okay, well, um, what can we do about this to again cope? And this is what they have to say. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's get into this, you all. So, hi guys, I want to do a video. I just want to do an impromptu video. Um, I want to say how women, especially black women should be mean um women should be more mean to men i am a dama matrix um i am a baby dama matrix i'm so what? i promise you i'm not trying to be mean Okay, even though she's telling me as a black woman, because I am a black woman, even though she's telling me as a black woman, I shouldn't be mean, I'm not trying to be mean. Okay, but I will be real. Are y'all serious? <laughs> you, ma'am, are out here talking about, you know, we should be mean and, you know, because we're all high and mighty and you don't even know how to say words properly. She said she want to do an impromptu video. That's strike one. Then she comes through talking about she want to be a dumb matrix. And what makes this even worse is these are the same chicks that y'all will rally up behind and say, yes, sis, you go, girl. And she don't even know how to spell, let alone say the words that she's trying to tell you to, to do and be. Craziness. It's that bad. Now, again, I'm not even trying to be mean, but come on, y'all. And y'all wonder why these men ain't touching y'all. Ma'am? <laughs> Let's just take it back. Hold on. 
So hi guys, I want to do a video. I just want to do an impromptu video. Um, I want to say how women, especially black women, should be mean. Um, women should be more mean to men. I am a Dama Matrix. Um, I am a baby Dama Matrix. I'm still learning how to be a Dama Matrix. I'm still learning all that. But women should be more dominant. I'm trying to get that hair out of my face. Lord have mercy. You need to get a lot off of your face, okay? But, ma'am, that is wrong advice. This is why y'all are alone in the first place. The reason why a lot of y'all are alone in the first place is because you are mean. That's first things first. And, you know, you don't listen to me, Okay? You do want to dominate the men. You do want to, to emasculate the men. That is why you are alone in the first place. So to double down on this is just trash. And ma'am, like, you're the last person that us as any woman, black or other, should be listening to. Who, who wants to be a Dama Matrix? Like... Is Keanu Reeves going to come through? Like, are we like really going to be in the matrix or like what is going on? Because I'm starting to feel like I am in the damn matrix. I don't think I want to be a domo matrix. I don't think I want to be a part of that. And so, ladies, we have to really be mindful and careful about who we are taking advice from, because do they even know what the hell they are talking about? Do you want to be like her? with synthetic red weave that is shedding every which away so badly to the point to where you can't even pick the damn synthetic threads and strands off your damn face while you're trying to give the game. But again, the sad part about it is this is the type of female that we would listen to because men are done with us. And so since she is telling us what we want to hear, making us feel better by stroking our egos, yes, I'm going to go ahead and listen to her. But why? Because again, this advice is tragic and trash. And it is the very reason why you are in the same situation that you are in currently. Like, aren't y'all trying to get quality men because you are the prize and you should be taken care of and you should be protected and provided for, right? Like, isn't that the goal anyway? So why would you listen to this? Lord have mercy. Y'all like the video. I I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean, but come on, y'all. Can I get it? Women should be more dominant. Women should be mean. Women should stop caring about men's feelings. Women should put themselves first. Um, we are not here to cater to men. Yes, we are. Men are here to cater to us. No, they're not. Women, we are absolutely here to cater to men. Y'all like the video, shut the video, and subscribe. I don't know why y'all want to escape nature so badly. But, I mean, that's what you're designed to do. You're designed to be a help meet for the man. And we see when we try to reverse those roles, how it fails miserably, horribly. Even the Cheesecake Factory lady that went viral, even she had to admit, like, you know, um, if I'm to be honest, women, we don't even respect men that we can walk all over and men that just bow down to us and just cater to us and give us whatever we want. We don't even respect men like that. So if even the high and mighty, I am the prize type of females are admitting that it has to have some truth to it. Cause she couldn't even lie about that. So when you're coming through miss ma'am's, Synthetic red. We're going to call her synthetic red. Okay. Um, Talking about, yeah, we're not designed to cater to men and men should be catering to, to us and they should be bowing down to us and asking us what we want. That's emphatically incorrect. That is not the natural roles. 
And again, when a man does place a woman at the center of his entire world and universe, she then becomes a distraction. How can a man go out into the world and make his money, be a provider, be a protector, be a leader, be a teacher? How can he do that when everything is consumed by his woman? Oh, what does she want me to do? What does she need me to do? No. So again, ma'am, bad advice. The man is the leader for a reason. Let's continue. Um, I know my word. I don't care about what a man thinks about me because what he thinks about me is fucking irrelevant. What? <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If ever a woman says she does not care about what a man thinks about her, she does. She is the main one that cares about what men think about her. The issue is the men don't think highly of her. The men don't have a great opinion about her. So since that is the case, now she just wants to write it off as I don't care about what you think. But if men held her in a high regard or if men were singing her praises and giving her compliments and telling her how great she was. Then she wouldn't mind what they thought or what they had to say. But since she's not up to par. Now it's like, well, I don't care. Yes, you do. It's in your nature. It's in our nature as women to seek male validation. Okay? It's how we're programmed. It's how we're wired. Take it up with nature. Okay? So, again, ladies, I understand y'all are just trying to cope with the reality of men not wanting you. And that's why you're pretending like you don't care about what they think or you don't want them. But, yeah, it's not really going to work out for you. If anything, it's going to make matters even worse. Because we already know, as women, we want men. Let's continue. And y'all like the video. About what he thinks about me. Um, what is important is what I think about myself. Um, do I love myself? Do I accept myself? Um, what are my best traits? What is the things I can work on? Um, men don't matter. And sometimes women make make it seem like men matter in their life when men shouldn't matter you shouldn't center your life around men men should center their life around you and pleasing you and catering to you um too many men think that they are the prize that it's all about them that they call the shots but really women call the shots Whoa, that was a lot. Um, ma'am, men do matter, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, men matter so much that the world would stop if they stopped, amen? And I mean that in all areas of life when it comes to building things when it comes to impregnation okay when it comes to life in general yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and say that uh yeah they matter mm -hmm. if men did not matter then why ma'am are you making a whole video regarding why they don't Talking about why they don't matter. If something truly does not matter, you don't acknowledge it. You don't talk about it. You don't look at it. You don't observe it. And you definitely don't break it down to a crumb. Okay? See, ma'am, you matter to me. Women's thought process behind, you know, being broken and bitter, and like that matters to me. That's why I talk about it. I want to um fix it amen i want to correct the behaviors amen so i'm going to address it and talk about it because i care about it when i don't care about something or i think that it is truly irrelevant it gets no play it gets no energy whatsoever 
So let's be real. You know that men matter, okay? The world knows that men matter. Nature knows that men matter, which is why they're here. And so, yeah, you're going to have to pump your brakes there. All right. Then I just cannot get over how you are in so many words saying that, you know, you don't want a man or you don't need a man. When like clearly we can see that you do. And you're just say saying these things to, again, cold. Well, let's be real, you all. And again, y'all like the video. Y'all know a lot of these chicks like this female here. They're only saying these things because they don't matter to the men that they want. Whoopsie. I didn't even mean to. Be, I, ain't even, I ain't trying to do that like that. I am not trying to be mean at all. I'm just being real. The reason why females like her are talking about, you know, men don't matter and they're irrelevant and they're this and they're that. That is because those same men that they would love to be with do not love and would not love to be with them. So now I have to hit you with a little bit of reverse psychology. You don't want me. No, -uh, that's not the case. You do want me. It's that I don't want you. No. The men out here in this world today that have really raised their standards, really raised the bar, and their expectations for these females, they are irrelevant to them. Men are giving these type of chicks absolutely no play whatsoever. Respectfully. And that's what makes it burn worse. You ever got declined re respectfully? You ever got overlooked respectfully? Men are not out here like, oh, you ugly and you big and you nasty and you broke and you disgusted. I would never look at you. I'll never be with you. Ugh, you men are not doing that. Men are simply saying, yeah, no, nah, no, thank you. I wish you the best. That, that, that stings. So now they have to pretend like, oh, yeah, y'all are irrelevant to me. When in all actuality, no, you are irrelevant to these men. Let's be clear. Again, it's a coping mechanism at best. Please stop, ma'am. When men shouldn't matter, you should center your life around men. Men should center their life around you and pleasing you and catering to you. Um, too many men think that they are the prize, that it's all about them, that they call the shots. But they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they do. That's why when y'all start going into, you know, the woman is the prize and the man is not, I, I get kind of iffy on that. Now, personally, and I talk about this in my book, y'all go and get my book, Submission is Not the Enemy. I talk about how we both should regard each other as the prize because here's the thing. Men are going to be able to offer to a woman certain things that are, are of value and vice versa, right? So therefore, we're both a prize because we are both bringing things of value to one another, right? To bring balance to one another. However, when y'all females come out here talking about you know, the woman is the, the one and only prize and the man is not the prize. And why are the men pretending and acting like they are the prize? When y'all come out here doing that, it makes you want to go there and say that, you know, technically, if we really want to pull your coattail, yeah, the man probably would be more of a prize than you. Because the man is the one that is providing everything, that is protecting you, that is leading you. To, like the man is carrying the bulk of the load. So, I mean, if we really wanted to go there and have a, a, an argument, we could say that. The men are calling the shots because they are the ones that are pulling the strings. They are the ones that are making sure that the foundation is being built upon and thriving. They're the ones that are making sure that you are being provided for and protected including the children, like the men are keeping everything afloat. Now, I'm not saying that the woman is not going to add on to that. 
But at the end of the day, like that's his role. And so the man's role by default would make him be a prize, if not the prize, if we wanted to make that argument. And it would also make him be the one that caused the shots because it's his kingdom. Now, again, ladies, I'm sorry that these men have raised their standards and they're not checking for you. And it's causing you to have to fend for yourself. But, I mean, come on now. Let's not be dumb. Really, women call the shots. No. Women tell what men to do and we say jump and men supposed to say how high, guys. No. Know your worth. Stop playing with these broke guys. Stop playing with these men who play mind games, who don't know how to treat a woman right. Uh, I had to keep pausing it because she really irritated me. But um, she's out here talking about stop dealing with these broke guys and, you know, stop playing with these guys who play mind games, all of that. Here's the catcher to it all. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. We, we got to go here. The catcher to it all is the broke guys are the only men that you qualify for. The broke men are the only ones who would entertain you. Let's be clear, you all. Like, men who got it, they're not checking for this. They're not checking for this. She knows that. She only qualifies. And a lot of these chicks out here, again, and it's no, I'm not trying to be mean, no shade, nothing. But all y'all qualify for is the broke guys who play mind games. The men who really got it like that, they don't see you. And y'all know that. And since you know that, your best bet is just to pretend like, oh, I don't want them anyway, but you do. So while you're telling them to stop messing around with these guys, the rule reality check is that those are the only guys that they can deal with and be with. Other men would look at you and say, yeah, she's a liability based upon her thought process alone. We're not even going to get into the, you, you know, synthetic reds. OK, we're not even going to get into the unarched, unshaped eyebrows. We're not going to even get into how you cannot properly pr pronounce words and, you know, know the meaning and how to, how to spell them. We're not even going to go into all of that. OK. But what we will say is men of true quality and substance, ma'am, are not checking for you or any woman like you especially with that type of mindset. Oh, start being mean to men. What? Make the men jump and, you know, all they need to do is ask you how high and, you know, they are not the prize and you need to be the center of their universe. Like, girl, please, this is why you are alone and bitter now, pretending like you're happy, pretending like you a boss chick. Lord, I'm sorry, y'all. Let's continue. And again, y'all like the video. A lot of women is programmed by society to uphold the patriarchy and sex as sexism and the privilege men have. A lot of women are programmed to aspire to be married and kids as their top aspirations. There is more and more, there's much more life than having a man, being with a man. Um, education. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm a PhD, right? Law, here we go. It's always the women who can't have something and can't give uh, or, or, or can't get something that have the most to say about how you don't really need it, right? It's the women that are like, you don't need no husband. You don't need no family. You don't need love. You don't need nothing. You don't need none of that. It's always them saying those things because they could never get it. But best believe 
If they could have a decent quality man to approach them with marriage and family and, and all of those grand and great things, privileges and luxuries that come along with having a man in your life, they would be the first ones fighting tooth and nail to receive it and get it. But because it is not knocking at their door and these men are not checking for them, they're like, well, that's because I don't want it anyway. And, you know, it, it's more to life than just that. Girl, please stop. Please stop. You are only saying that because you cannot get it. You are only saying that because the men don't want you. Let's be honest. You have no choice but to focus on education. Whoopsie. Why? Because you have to provide for yourself. You have to teach yourself. You have to lead yourself. You don't have a man there to do all those things for you. So, yeah. When it comes to you, ma'am, there's more to life than that. But I'm sorry, when it comes to real women, like we like to relax. We don't want to do too much thinking. We don't want to do too much doing. Like, come on. I don't want to be no strong, independent boss chick that's just hella smart and I know everything and I do everything. I'm sorry. Let that man do that and I'll assist him. Mm hmm. Sign me up for the assistant. The boss, nah, it, that, that ain't going to work for me. But that's cute, though, that you're saying all of this to make yourself feel better, to make other women feel better about not having this. It's more to life than that, mm. says a chick who can't get it. But let's continue. No shade. How you want your dream body to look, your career, your friendship with other women? Because y'all have no choice. If, if men have raised their standards so much so to where they're not checking for chicks that look like you, that think like you, you have no choice but to congregate with the sisterhood. You have no choice but to focus on your career and your education. What else you got? What else you gonna do? You might as well. Yeah. You don't have no real relationship with no man. So all you can do is try to, you know, get together with your, your, your girlfriends and build that relationship. Yeah, you have no choice. And again, you all, it is always the chicks that could never telling you, you know, what you don't need and what you shouldn't want. But they already know they would love to have those things. Men just don't want them. So let me pretend like I don't want them either. Let me pretend like my career is more important and my education is more important and my friendships with my homegirls is more important. But please stop. Like a lot of times we neglect ourselves. We feel like men matter so much and we act like men matter so much when in reality they don't matter. Honestly, men don't matter. Ever since I put myself first and healed myself and read and therapy and, and life coach, um, I know that it's more to life than getting a man. It's more to life than getting married or having kids with a man. Y'all see what I'm saying now? She's talking about I'm healed. These type of females that are out here talking about they're healed, they're the most damaged. They're going to all of these sisterhood circle groups and they're getting all these life coaching teachings and all of that to try to escape from the reality of not having what they know that they need which is a good quality man in their life, loving on them, leading them, taking care of them. Like, come on. 
she couldn't even thoroughly and fully elaborate upon why men are not important and why men are not needed and why you know men are just so irrelevant she couldn't even do it because she knows that she's lying these chicks are making these type of videos to begin with because they know the truth and the truth is i really do want a man i really do need a man i really do desire to have love in my life but since i don't qualify for the men that i really want to be with let me just pretend like i'm good i'm happy i'm healed and i'm whole without them but we know the truth and the truth is men are not settling anymore men do matter and you know that which is why it's bothering you so much and you're trying to convince yourself that they don't matter and men can actually make your life more enjoyable and easier to where you don't have to do too much but yeah men are looking for women that are going to be complimentary to them men are no longer just settling for the bare minimum you're gonna have to come correct and you chicks out there that really feel like you are the prize and the man caters to you and bows down to you you're going to be the most affected and impacted by men just not dealing with you if men are already walking away from even the baddest chicks that possess your mentality what in the hell do you think is going to happen to you where, where do you think that you're going to land in this equation you know you're going to get passed up so how about at the very least ma'am you fix your mentality again i'm not even gonna go into your appearance but leave it over there men are looking for women that can actually bring substance to their lives that can actually assist them with you know whatever they are looking for them to assist them with like men are looking for peace comfort uh support love quality and since men have done that and a lot of y'all are not able to offer or provide such things you leave them with no choice but to pass you up and now here you are complaining about how men don't matter and how you're so healed and you're good by yourself and we all know it's a lie but keep faking it until you make it ma'ams which is not looking too promising but hey go off but yeah i thought i would just come on here and let y'all know that yeah the women are just mad that men don't want them and so now they're pretending like they don't want the men but we know the truth all right uh anyway y'all let me know y'all thoughts y'all opinions down below um do you agree with this lady to where she's like you know men don't matter we should just focus on ourselves as women um we don't need families we don't need, need love we don't need none of that just you know focus on your career your education you know your body which is not even looking like you're doing that you know what i mean we're gonna leave it over there too um but y'all just let me know okay like the video share the video subscribe ladies do better step your game up because the men are not playing they will pass you up peace